friends, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the Longevity products or our our uh, cannabidiol CBD products on brightsidehealth.com, bone broth protein. Of course, if you have questions or comments about our Truth Skin Health products, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We will get your calls in our second segment. We've got a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour, Sonia Barrett, a friend of mine. Uh, I've known her for probably 10 years or so. Uh, Sonia is an author and a uh, public speaker. She's got zillions, and I mean zillions with a Z, YouTubes on all kinds of subjects from procrastination to creative writing to spirituality to health. Sonia is, uh, has released a movie. She's actually a movie maker now, I guess, called The Business of Disease, which is super fascinating. You can watch it on, pay for, uh, on a pay-per-view basis for six bucks, and this thing is stunning. As soon as I saw it, I, I, as soon as I saw it advertised, I, I went and bought it and watched it it and I was just blown away. I called Sonia up and she's going to be on uh, the bottom of the hour to talk about the business of disease, which of course, if you're listening to this program, you guys are ahead of the curve. You know all about it. We've been talking about the nefarious business of disease, the really evil business of disease. Just think about that. The business of disease. There are people making money off of disease. There are people profiting off of misery. Anyway, we're going to talk to Sonia at the bottom of the hour. We'll get your calls. Uh, in our next segment, 844-236-6010 is our number, so try to call in early. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I want to tell you. Ah, let's, let's get right to it here. Uh, we're talking connective tissue. We've been talking connective tissue, but really when we talk connective tissue, we talk about aging. We talk about disease. We talk about breakdown. We talk about pretty much every single health challenge you can name has some aspect of connective tissue involvement. The connective tissue is involved somewhere. So working on the connective tissue with glucosamine sulfate, with vitamin C, with essential fatty acids, with bone broth protein, with chick, uh, bone soup or chicken soup with the, with the cartilage. Working on the connective tissue with nutrition, working on the connective tissue with exercise will help every system in the body. Not just for arthritis. If something's good for arthritis, it's going to be good for Alzheimer's disease. If something's good for arthritis, it's going to be good for cardiovascular vascular disease because remember you guys the body's a system we're led to believe that the body is made up of all these different separate components and this doesn't help us any it helps the people selling us the remedies for the different components but it doesn't help us in terms of our health witness our disastrous degenerative disease uh, degenerative disease crisis that we've been dealing with in this country for 100 years plus at the same time uh, as the deification of the medical model has taken place so has our destruction through degenerative disease as a race doctors weren't deified before the turn of the century in fact in the middle of the 19th century they weren't even considered to be uh, it wasn't even considered to be a, a good profession to go into doctors were looked down upon 
and it's only it was only with the Flexner report, which some of you guys may have heard of, and the uh, the techniques of marketing and advertising, when medicine became codified and systematized, when drugs became uh, the go-to remedy for dealing with disease at the turn of the century. It's only been 100, 100, 100 years or so, 110 or 115 years or so, that uh, the medical model has been considered to be the way to take care of the body. And at the same time, we're, we're dissolving. <laughs> the human race, the human body is dissolving. How can one out of two people have a degenerative disease? How can one out of two people be on a prescription drug? Seven, no, no, 70% are on one prescription drug. One out of two people are on two prescription drugs. A lot of it has to do with the fact that we don't recognize the body as a system. The connective tissue is the quintessential system in the body because it connects everything. All other systems are secondary to the connective system, which links everything together. In our last program, we talked about coenzyme Q10, which is a electrification substance. It energizes cells, meaning it's good for everything, but particularly for the heart. The heart is along with the brain, probably the hardest working system in the body. Your heart's beating a billion times in a lifetime. Boom, 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 a billion times. That takes energy. Heart disease is an energy disease. It's an energy deficiency disease. And coenzyme Q10 is an energizing substance. Heart disease begins with damage to the heart, especially the connective tissue in the heart. Remember, the heart has a connective tissue skeleton. It's covered with connective tissue. The pericardium, some of you may have heard of something called pericarditis. The pericardium is a bag that the heart sits in, and there are some practitioners, particularly uh, uh, Eastern practitioners, who believe that the pericardium is like an organ that regulates the heart, and they may have a point. There's also the epicardium. There's various layers of connective tissue in addition to a cardiac skeleton. That means the heart benefits from glucosamine. That means the heart benefits from uh, cartilage soup, bone soup. That means the heart benefits from cartilage, hyaluronic acid, collagen. So heart disease is an energy disease. It can involve the musculature and the mechanics. It can involve high blood pressure. It can involve nutritional deficiencies, particularly in the B vitamins, your energizing vitamins, particularly in vitamin C, which is the rate limiting step or the bottleneck step in the production of connective tissue, particularly in the electrolytes, which are electrical, potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus. I think phosphorus is an electrolyte. I gotta look that up. I don't know if that one's an electrolyte. Anyway, the electrolytes, vitamin C, B vitamins, all the nutrients that you find in abundance in your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Your Beyond Tangy Tangerine is a cardiac tonic. It's a cardiac beverage. No, it's not marketed as such, but it is. It's liquid electricity, potable electricity, drinkable electricity in the heart is an electrical system whose electrical current has to pump through or has to channel through the tissue every second. Sugar is also a major cause of heart damage. And by sugar, I'm not just talking sugar, I'm also talking about something called glycated end products or AGEs, advanced glycation end products. Reading from the World Journal of Cardiology, April 2012, role of advanced glycation end products in cardiovascular disease. Studies suggest that therapies targeted against AGEs, that is the B vitamins, for example, have therapeutic potential in patients with heart failure. Heart failure is a sugar problem as much as it's anything else. When was the last time your doctor... The cholesterol hypothesis of heart disease is so terrible, you guys. When was the last time your cardiologist told you about using chromium and vanadium, the sweeties, or thiamine, or niacin for heart disease? No, he wants to put you on a statin drug. AGEs are formed between the advanced glycated, glycated end products, AGEs, which spells age cleverly. It's, how, it's not just how our heart gets damaged, it's how we age in general. AGEs are formed by a reaction between sugar and proteins that are contained in the heart, the heart cells. This is where the damage, this is one of the major sources of the damage. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in our next segment. Got Sonia Barrett coming up at the bottom of the hour. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. All right, we are back on The Bright Side. 
with Spen. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7. On our archive page is brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Also have uh, all the longevity products up at benfuchsarchives.com. And you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. Help me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program and make some money at the same time. You can sign up right off the websites pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and uh, brightsideben.com. You can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. If you are a healer type person, you like to heal people or help people heal. I don't like, the, I don't like that phrase, healer, but if you like to help people with their bodies and to heal, this is the business for you. If you like to make money too, this is really the business for you. And uh, I've been doing it now for 20 years, and I can't do it myself, folks. I need help, and I would love to have you on my team. And, of course, you will, if you do it right, you will make money, and you will make some significant money if you really want to. 866-735-2470 is the number to call if you want to join the Brightside Ben team or you have any questions. All right, tomorrow we'll continue talking about CoQ10 and cholesterol and heart disease. I also want to touch on a little bit about a really, really neat ingredient that's in uh, skincare products that I've been using in my skincare formulations for a long time. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a uh, precursor to cholesterol. In fact, cholesterol comes from this substance. And statin drugs will suppress the production of this substance as well as they produ pr suppress the production of cholesterol. You want to know about that because this stuff is not just important for the skin. It's also anti-cancer. It's also detoxifying. It's also an antioxidant. And if you're on a statin drug, you're not going to make as much of this stuff. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. We got Sonia Barrett coming up at the bottom of the hour talking about her movie, The Business of Disease. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Joe in Tennessee. Good morning, Joe. Hello. Hello, Joe. What's up, buddy? Yeah, Welcome hey, to the Bright Side. Yeah, hey, I've been just desiring to talk to you, man. you got an awesome show there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to tell you, uh, I had high blood pressure several years ago, and... And when they when I went into the doctor, they put me on uh, metropolol or something like that. Nasty drug. Feel, yeah, it made me feel awful. And, and I, I told the nurse, I'm going to get off this stuff, you know, as soon as I can. She said, Joe, she said, as long as you live, you're going to have high blood pressure. You can't get off of it. In two months, following your advice and Dr. Wallace's advice, uh, Dr. Wallace's advice, I was off of blood pressure medication. <laughs> My blood pressure was normal. I was feeling a whole lot better. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. You know, thank you for sharing that. I, I can't say I'm surprised because I know how the body works, and I've seen this happen so many times. But, but it all, I love hearing it when people tell when I hear this from folks who have really experienced the, the benefits of these ideas. So your nurse said you have to be on a drug, otherwise you're going to have high blood pressure. You go home and you take care of it yourself. Bottom line. Right, that's Joe? Right. I'm that's telling right. you, man. That's how easy health can be. If anybody out there is listening to their nurse or their doctor without questioning, without attempting to do things by themselves, uh, who's, who's taking a prescription drug or having their bodies butchered simply because a doctor told them or a nurse told them, you guys, you've drank the Kool-Aid. You're in a trance. Wake up. Out of the trance. That's, right. that's what I'm here to do for you guys. Wake you up. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. What's going on? Any questions or anything? Yeah, my daughter has been having issues, been having some mental issues and some other issues. So I know, I know blood tests are, you know, they only do so much. And I know their range is not really, you know, <laughs> you know, both know. You, you say mental, you mean emotional or psychological? Emotional, is that you? yeah, emotional. Okay. And so we, right. we did a blood test just to see what it says. In her, the rocks are the T4 with 13.1. A-L-T-S-G-P-T. Hang on, don't, don't overwhelm me with all these acronyms. I don't even know what they mean, most of them. So here's the deal. Okay. The thyroid is always going to be suppressed. First of all, the thyroid is suppressed in everybody to a certain extent. Okay. Just by living the standard American lifestyle and eating the standard American diet, we're going to have yep. some degree of thyroid dysfunction, everybody, pretty much. Okay. However, if you're dealing with a health challenge, guaranteed you've got a thyroid problem. But the problem isn't the thyroid. The problem, is pre the problem precedes the thyroid. The thyroid controls the metabolism in the body, and unless you have, say, cancer in the thyroid, it's responsive to what's happening in the body. It's following the body's orders. You, are you with me here? Yeah. So, okay, so the, which, the primary orders that it follows are, the, uh, are housed in the blood sugar system and the digestive tract. 
Okay? And, and the reason I say this is not so much because there's a, a direct link between digestion and the thyroid, and uh, not so much because there's a direct link between the blood sugar system and the thyroid, but because, and check this out, this is very, very important because so many people are hypothyroid. There's a direct link between the adrenal glands and the thyroid. You follow me? So that's yep. why I call this the triangle of disease. The thyroid is affected by the gut, and, uh, the intestine, the digestive system, and the blood sugar system, but through the mediating uh, force, through the, through the channel of the adrenal glands. So when you have a thyroid problem, you oftentimes, most of the time, will have an adrenal problem as well. Now, I'm not saying that there's no digestive involvement. There certainly is. One of the major reasons uh, for hypothyroidism is something called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Okay, that is in probably 70 to 80 percent of thyroid of hypothyroidism is Hashimoto's. Hashimoto's thyroid disease, Hashimoto's thyroid is a autoimmune disease. Autoimmunity means digestion. So I, there is a major relationship between the digestive system and the thyroid, but the first place to work, in my opinion, is to calm the body down. People who are, in adren in, uh, who are dealing with hypothyroid issues uh, very often will be in some kind of adrenal stress, and the thyroid, the hypothyroidism is compensating. Do you follow me? Now, how do you deal with adrenal stress? First of all, deep breathe slowly and, and rhythmically in through the nose and out through the nose. Secondly, for the, thyro for the adrenals, calm the body down with hot water, immersion therapy, both, um, baths and showers, both baths and showers, hot baths and showers, even a hot washcloth on the face. Uh, massage can do it. Um, a, a therapeutic touch. I don't know if you ever heard of that. Therapeutic touch can do it. Just relax these psychological and mental strategies to relax. So it's interesting you said that she's hypothyroidism and uh, hypothyroid, and you found that out when you were checking on her psychological issues or emotional issues. But it could be that the emotional issues are causing the hypothyroidism. It doesn't mean the thyroid is causing the emotional problems. You follow me? Exactly. So, okay. Yeah, so adjustment. working on the adrenal glands, and then working backwards. Could, uh, continuing working backwards with the blood sugar system. This is for your thyroid, you guys. I'm talking blood sugar system for your thyroid. Re uh, using the Sweeties, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, restricting your exactly. intake of fast-burning sugars. And she probably loves those foods. Everybody does when they're uh, hypothyroid and when they've got a, a psychological things going on. And then last but not least, this is where you get a, not only a triangle but a circle because the, the digestive system can cause problems with the thyroid and then the thyroid causes problems with the digestive system. And then and it causes more thyroid problems, more digestive problems, and you get this vicious circle. So you got to break the circle by focusing on digestive health. Elimination diet, food diary, get on a probiotic like the nightly essence, fermented foods, calorie restriction. You know the drill, my friend. I've been say saying it forever. Yeah. If there's nothing, with all due respect, I'm sure your daughter's very special, but there's nothing special about her health challenge. It's generic. Exactly. All right? I got to move, my friend. The, uh, nightly essence. How many nightly essence? Nine a day. Three in the morning, three Nine in the afternoon, day. three at night. Okay? And then also fermented food and veggie juices. Thanks for your call, man. There's so many more Thanks things you could do, Joe. Yeah. That's not, hey, that, that doesn't even touch it. Thank you, buddy. Okay. All right. Let's go to Elaine in Alaska. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side, Elaine. Hi. Can you hear me all right? I can, but you know what? I'm so sorry. That's the music, Elaine. That's the music, sweetheart. I, I apologize. Um, I hate doing that. Uh, so call us back tomorrow because we've got a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour. Uh, Sonia Barrett is going to talk to us about the business of disease. All right. Farm Suspend. Thanks, Elaine. I'm Farm Suspend. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and benfuchsarchives.com. Got search engines there. Got five plus, almost six years of archived information, great health information that you don't hear anywhere else because that's what this show is about. It's about, you know, there's all this generic stuff out there about health where you're not going to get anything generic here. And that's why one of the reasons why I am so glad and honored and uh, thrilled to have my next guest on because she's anything but generic. Oh, my God. This woman is unbelievable. Sonia Barrett. I read first read uh, her book, The Holographic uh, Holographic Canvas, I don't know, eight or nine years ago and uh, blew me away. And since then, I've been following her work. <laughs> attending her webinars and and uh, uh buying her buying her audio material and video material she's got a ton of it 
a ton of it, and most of it is a little out there, I will forewarn you. Uh, but uh, she's also very grounded and very real and uh, has an interest in health, which we're going to talk about uh, today. Her movie, uh, uh, The Business of Disease, which is something that if you've been listening to this program, you know we talk about all the time, The Business of Disease. And I think that is just a, 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 nasty, two, a, a nasty two words to have in one sentence, The Business of Disease. Please welcome to the Bright Side, Sonia Barrett. Hey, Sonia. Hello there. Thank you nice. so much for having me on. Nice to talk to you as always. I love that. The business of disease. Isn't that terrible in, in one sentence? Yeah. Business. It's awful. How did you, as, a, as a, someone who's very, very, very familiar and, and, and well-versed in, in so many esoteric ideas and metaphysical ideas and spiritual ideas, what made you want to, to dip your toe in the water or put your foot in the water or jump into the water of something as mundane and profane and, and, and real world and physical? as health and wellness and disease? Well, uh, you know what? Because it all counts. <laughs> okay, I got that. You know, we, we can get esoterical, we can do all of that, but the fact is that we're in these bodies Yeah. and, uh, and we really need to understand them and understand um, the elements involved in the distraction of uh, self-care. So for me, um, well, can, let me I, just can I, let me just stop mm -hmm. you right there. You said the destruction of healthcare, right? Uh, uh, or distraction. the distraction of? Well, did you say distraction or destruction? Distraction and destruction. Okay, got it. Got yeah, it. I like that. It's, it's both because um, you're you're just completely directed in a different uh, direction from take self self care mm -hmm. uh, or what that even means. But uh, just you know, real quickly, basically. I did not really set out to do a documentary. What happened was I got really tired of going to the store. This was the month of October, but I didn't realize it was Breast Cancer Awareness Month because I just really don't pay attention to a lot of that. But every time I go in the store, they were asking me if I wanted to donate. And I just was just tired of it. <laughs> no, I don't want to donate to it. For awareness, and, for, for disease awareness, so you can become yeah. more aware of the disease. Disease awareness, yeah, I love it, that. It, it is. It, it, it's awareness. Are you not aware of breast cancer? So, as a woman, are you not aware of breast cancer? Yeah. Do you no, need to be reminded? Oh, yeah. Hey, Sonia, there's this thing called breast cancer. Don't forget today. I'll call you tomorrow and remind you, too. And that's what it is. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. like they're reminding you, don't yes. forget that you could don't get forget. it. Or don't forget to get it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> you know, so I got tired of it, and uh, and that's kind of what happened. And then I, I sat down and wrote that article, The Marketing of Breast Cancer, The Pink Ribbon Agenda, and just love started it. doing a little bit of research here and there just to kind of see what kind of madness was out there. And, you know, when I saw the uh, breast cancer Barbie, you know, Barbie doll in the pink uh, dress, you could order know that. that wait, in wait, the wait. NFL store she, with all the... Is it a Barbie doll stuff. with a mastectomy? You know what? Don't give them any ideas. Okay, all right. Because <laughs> I'm sure that that's coming. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of symbology for me. I just started wondering, well, what the heck does that pink ribbon? Because now it's so ingrained in our minds, and I just yeah. thought, what is that doing to us? And now every time you see pink, you know, you automatically, your oh, mind automatically goes in that direction. So that was kind of how I came up with the idea, and I wanted to just get a few people together that kind of knew or were coming from that direction of understanding the mind and all of that. Uh, and I contacted these few people, and everybody goes, yeah, sure. So I, I was going to make a little YouTube video, um, but then it turned into a feature film. It's a great film. It's a great mm -hmm. film, Sonia. And it's six bucks, you guys. Uh, have, before we continue, tell people how they can get on, how they can check it out. Well, actually, right now, yes. The, you can go to thebusinessofdisease.com, and you can actually watch it online for $6, pay-per-view on the website. Um, however, it will actually launch to the public on on-demand channels and digital in February um, of next year. That's the official launch. And you can buy the DVD and the book that goes with it, Health and Inside Job and Outside Business. 
It's I all can't on wait. the website. I can't wait to get my, my copy. I ordered it a couple days ago, and I've been yes. watching the movie, and it's wonderful. So uh, we've been, yeah, I love talking to you, Sonia, but there's, I want to get to talking a little bit about the movie. Uh, so first of all, business and disease. So what do you think of when you think of those two terms in one sentence? What, what goes through your mind? Uh, the first thing that goes through my mind is that um, there's a business involved here, uh, and it relates to disease. You know, do we need to, do they need to create some products, which a lot of times they do, pharmaceuticals, right. and then now they have to have a disease. So, um, so you you find that you hear all these diseases suddenly out of nowhere, like in yeah. commercials. You know, different things that you could have, uh, and and it, and it is. And you read a little bit more in maybe online in the news, and you find that there's some new drug that's come out. Well, they got to use it for something. People develop symptoms just simply sometimes just from hearing uh, yeah. a commercial of what you could have. Oh, I think I have that. I think I've got that. Oh, my gosh, I have that. Because <laughs> there's sometimes you know. general, you know, you get headaches, you get yeah. this, and I'm thinking, yeah. huh. Do you get I hungry, get, Sonia? Do, do you get hungry a lot? I, I, I heard there's, there was one commercial where the lady thinks all the time. Have you seen this? Have you been thinking all the time? She's in the, she's, she's, she's in the train station. She's thinking a lot. And, yeah. And, Are you and breathing? You, do you find that you yes. breathe all the time? Yes. Well, we have something for that. That'll take care of that. Where's something that'll stop you from breathing? Just yes, eventually. This. Absolutely. And, and then uh, ask your doctor if it's right for you, though. You yes. gotta ask your, oh, you got to ask your doctor. It, always says, <laughs> ask your mommy. I always hear, ask your mommy, ask your daddy, yeah. you know, ask He's your father right figure. Person. That's the doctor. He's the father figure. Ask daddy. So, uh, so he, but, but you, you raise an interesting point now that we're bringing this up, this idea of deification of the doctor, which is, uh, as a registered pharmacist, I find especially offensive. But nonetheless, you raised, you, in the movie, you brought up an interesting point, how doctors are hoodwinked as much as we are. Oh, as yeah. much as the end oh, user yeah. is. Oh, absolutely, the doc, absolutely. Right? And, yeah, because they're not trained in um, nutrition either. I mean, I forgot how. It's like a very short, I don't know if it's like one class or it's a couple It's like a couple hours. of semesters, although it's getting better mm -hmm. because finally they're realizing that nutrition is powerful medicine. But then they're trying yeah. to medicalize nutrition, too. That's a whole other subject. Mm -hmm. um, Sonia, we got to take a break, okay? Uh, we're talking to Sonia Barrett. Uh, uh, her movie is uh, The Business of Disease. Super, super movie. Google it. It's six bucks. It's well worth uh, the hour and a half or so to watch it. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back uh, continuing with Sonia Barrett right after this. Barrett about her book, The Business of Disease, or her movie, The Business of Disease. There's also an associated book. Uh, the book's not out yet, is it, Sonia? Yeah, oh yes, it's out. It's uh, oh. Actually, it's been um, revised, so there's a new revised version of the book. Um, however, you can get it on Kindle right now. We're still waiting for it to sh show up on uh, Amazon again, but you can go to the website and you can order it right now. You order from there, you get a signed copy of oh, awesome. the book. You got to tell everybody the title. Though. It's such a cool name. It, such a it, cool title. Yeah, health and inside job and outside business. Meaning, health is truly an inside job, Love but it. outside of you, it's a business. That isn't that interesting. And and the thing about a business is a business oh, doesn't bleed red; it bleeds green. And that's its main priority. In fact, a corporation never dies. A corporation doesn't have children. A corporation doesn't have emotions. A corporation doesn't have, uh, doesn't get its feelings hurt. And this is, these are the people who are selling us the most intimate, the most, uh, because what is more important to us than our health? What is the most, uh, more intimate to us than our health? That's why I, the, the, the interaction or the juxtaposition of those two words, I find very striking business and health. So before oh, we yeah. to break the, before we went to break, Sonia, you were talking about doctors, and we have this myth, this meme, this belief system that somehow doctors are all knowing. But in reality, when it comes to drugs and when it comes to protocols, they're relying on who are they relying on to, to, for, for their information? The, right. The people, right? So exactly. There. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, because I think there's a fear, as you you probably heard in the film um, by Anne Baroque, of them stepping outside mm. of those lines. Mm. Um, they can't and lose their in, license. There's things called standards, right? Yes, 
Yeah, they can lose their license, and so it's crazy that they could lose their license for actually helping yes, someone. Yes, exactly. Um, exactly. Yeah, beyond beyond band aid. You know, it's like don't don't uh, cure anything. Let's just uh, you know. Well, you won't have a customer. It. You won't have a customer, right? Right. You can't cure. Right. You'll be yeah. missing a. It, a... It, it, it just goes on and on. But I just want to say, Ben, the slogan actually for this film, and it's on T-shirts that we have. It's it's um, the cure is in the body, not mm. in the business. That's Ooh. the slogan. Ooh, that's awesome. The cure is yeah. in the body. I mean, that's, that's everything we talk about every day on this program, pretty much. Every single thing we talk about. And, and I'm so, it's so gratifying to hear you say these, uh, come up with these ideas and compile all of these ideas into a book and into a film. Do you think that there's something evil going on here? Um, well, I think it's been, I think, no, well, evil has been going on for a long time. <laughs> is, it, is this part of it? Is this part of that? Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, how do you weaken people? You know, your health. You've got to, if you don't have health, you know, it, it totally changes everything in terms of your clarity, in terms of your, uh, even your, your spiritual space, your ability to uh, interact or, or within your own self. So um, I do see where it is sort of a tool. It is sort of a mechanism uh, that is used to control people because, you know, people are in fear of not being, not feeling great, not being well, and so they throw all these things at, at us. At but our weakest the, place. Exactly. But the yeah. challenge here is that, again, when the film opens up, I'm sure you read what it says. Ultimately, what it says is do not wait from the, for the system to fix things for us. You have love to it. fix it for yourself. Love it's, it, love it, yeah. love it. That's so awesome. And that's awesome. what we're sold right now is we've been sold that, is that the system or, or those in power know more than we do, and everybody yeah. else outside of us knows what's best for us. Yes, but, uh, uh, yes. Authority, authority, respect authority. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of this thing called oppositional defiance disorder? Uh, it's, no, a new, but it's a new now. DSM. It's a new disease class, classification that you can get your insurance company to pay for drugs for, and presumably other treatments. It's called oppositional okay. defiance disorder, and it's defined as a as a disregard of authority or something along the lines of authority. So I should be so heavily. I think you need to be drugged. So yes, I think you need to see a doctor quickly. So so here's the thing, Sonia. Okay, so I I, I think we should be aware that there is an agenda going on here that's not in our interest. Yes. as individuals, yes. but what can we do Absolutely. about it? Where's our power? Talk to us about that. I think, you know, again, your power, people's power lies with just stopping and asking questions, asking mm -hmm. questions of themselves, of just being honest with yourself, of just really looking at uh, how much of your power you've given over to the systems in place, in particular, because uh, we're talking about health right now. Uh, you know, do you run off to the doctor every time, you know, because, mm -hmm. oh, you know, for the smallest thing, how much do you invest in your own health by, by investigating and figuring out what you could use, you know, for your a common cold or, you know, a natural antibiotics? Uh, there's just so much in terms of people's power that they can take back by simply taking responsibility for mm. uh, simply realizing that it's not too much work to do this mm -hmm. for yourself. How about where in does the, critical thinking come in? It, it comes in through the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, it's all about it's all about analyzing your be, being observant with your thinking or being uh, conscious absolutely. with your thinking. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You've got to observe how you're thinking, you've got to look at yourself when you're falling into fear, when you hear something and, and immediately you return, you know, you, you direct it to yourself because that's how it's all set up, you know, for you to either be in fear of whatever it is. So it's like stopping and really examining, if you've not done this before, for the first time, your place in this experience we call reality, your response, your relationship to this experience we call reality. How do you run your life? How do you manage it? Or is somebody else managing it for you and you just had blinders on? That's where you people have to stop and begin to truly examine and take back their power. You know more about your body, believe it or not, yeah. 
than the than the systems out there do. Yeah. What what's it's your, let's talk to somebody who's really sick right now. Let's say and I talk to people who've got stage four cancer and you know, yeah. horrible autoimmune problems and having limbs amputated and they're being butchered and drugged and all kinds of horrible things happening to them. What can you say to somebody who's got stage four cancer, has got a horrible thing, horrible disease and they don't know where to turn or what to do and they're freaked out? Uh, you know, I just posted a video yesterday. It's it's called There Is No Cure or Is There? And um, in the video, I talked about the fact that, you know, the doctors give you three months to live or six months to live and, you know, versus people who have been told that, but it all depends on how one takes it in. I've known people who decided that's not for me. Um, so I'm not going to buy into that, which is really a tough thing, and I admire those people who actually are able to do that. And you stop and you start to investigate. And it's still, Ben, it still has to be where you start examining your own self and your own life because a lot of times these diseases, as you well know, they're, they stem from some root um, mm -hmm conditions emotional a lot of it is i hate to say that because i don't want to make it all woo woo uh, at all but this is something that is not examined yet cancer is is very heavily related to people that have had traumatic things happen in their uh -huh. um, in their lives and uh it's like your your body goes into some sort of shock um and you know your your oxygen level changes in your cells the, you know, the electrical flow changes in, in your whole body. So there's a lot to look at here. So it's a matter of researching, research, 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 yeah. and just know that everything is possible. It, it, and Ben, I think that it has to start there. Honestly, you have to know that everything is possible. That's and if great. you have to cut out people in your life, that yeah. are doom and gloom, and yeah. cut them out yeah. while you're going through your experience. You have to know it's possible. You have to know you remission to is know. possible. Reversal, it's in the body's nature. People remit all the time. It really, it's not a leap. It's not, you're not, it's not woo woo because it happens all the time. You know, remissions occur one out of every time. six, they happen all the time, right? Throughout history, remissions have happened. Um, so, so there is a lot that people could do. I think the one word, the really cool word that, that people need to work with is the word change. You got to change something, right, Sonia? Whatever yep. you're doing, oh, something yeah. you got to change. You got to make a change somehow. And, well, you, and you can't make a change unless you're actually looking truly at your life a real yeah. filter really yeah. looking at it and not just going i don't know why this happens to me you know we look at the truth of your life this is not a blame game either so when, when, no, when we're no saying guilt. change it's not there's no guilt, guilt. No. there's none of that there's yeah. just an observation have you been just giving out all of your energy to other people you so, know sonia we're, we're i love talking to you we're just out of time the book is the business of disease sonia barrett's got zillions i mean zillions of youtubes just google sonia barrett she's brilliant wise and uh, uh, truly a lover of humanity thanks sonia we'll talk to you again soon i'm pharmacist thanks. ben you've been listening to the bright side have an awesome wonderful beautiful spectacular day we'll talk to y'all later bye for now